everybody, welcome back to Event Tech, and this is uh, where Joe English here from EM All Access, and I'm really excited to be here uh, with event professionals like we've been talking about. We're doing interviews with brand side marketers like the lady sitting next to me. Gianna Gaudini from Google, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Joe. Yeah, Google, probably not uh, a company that needs any introduction, but um, tell us what, uh, what Google does in the event space just to get started. Yeah, I mean, like you mentioned, we're just a small little <laughs> Yeah, a small startup, little company. <laughs> you know, but no, no, I mean, uh, we, we do, we have been doing um, more and more events, but my team focuses really on just our most strategic um, product marketing events. So, uh, you know, I see it as really a way that we can kind of transfer that delight that we give people in the digital world in this live experience. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that people's time is like, so valuable um, that for us to be able to to capture it and like really surprise and delight it when they're in person really translates to how they see our brand in general. Yeah. So, so you're a big technology company, but you're bringing people together live, yes. right? So it's an investment in their time and investment for you to bring them together. Yeah. So, so how do you start um, making the experience more, maybe more fun for them, more interesting and engaging? You know, I find that one thing that really delights people is if you personalize things. Mm -hmm. And um, people really like also want to, to be served relevant content. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the things that we've done at our events are figure out really fun, playful ways to personalize every aspect of the experience and to really like deliver content mm -hmm. that's completely relevant to them. And I think the two of them combine like really, um, you know, it makes people realize that we, we see their time as a premium and we respect that and we're here to help them. And, you know, they walk away, I think, all the better for it. So what would be an example of personalization that you might do? How would you make something a more personal experience? I, my mind like automatically goes back to this really fun event called Think Performance that we okay. did where we started at the very first touch point, mm -hmm. which is the name badge. Okay. And I don't know if you've heard of Androidify, but it's a, it's an app where you can actually create kind of like an avatar mm -hmm. for people uh, in an Android format. Okay. And so we, you know, did a little online research, and for every attendee, we Androidify them with, you know, their their features and also like things that were their hobbies. So if they were an avid golfer, they had a golf club. And so people thought that was really cute, mm -hmm. uh, but what they didn't know is we also had an NFC chip in that badge. Mm -hmm. And so as they progressed throughout the event, this chip was like interacting with the space and generating things like content that we had like curated specifically for them to turn on as they walked by. Mm -hmm. And it would be their Androidified avatar actually like driving that content for them. Yeah. And I think people were just blown away. Mm -hmm. And to kind of like, finished it all off, we wanted to leave them with you know, all the content that we provided. And so we gave them these little Android bobbleheads that were themselves yeah. and with a link to their website and to this custom website we created for them so they could go back and see that content and also have this little bobblehead sitting on their desk to remind them again and again of that fun, delightful experience. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of um, other experiences where you, you have something that's really personal to you, but then you feel like you want to share it. And yeah. did you find people sharing that experience somehow, saying, hey, look what Google did for me? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's you know really like also humanizing things mm -hmm. first before yeah. you throw technology at people. Like, figure out a way to really warm them up. And it's also like such a good conversation starter between attendees. So mm -hmm. I think it just really delivered um, on, on multiple objectives. You can sort of hear the conversation, you know, what, what, did, what did they do for you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. How did you know about their hobbies and things? Did you have them fill something out or did it was it just uh, mining, data mining or something? You know, I've found even for myself personally, it's like pretty pretty easy to find information about people mm -hmm. online these days, yeah. especially with social media channels and mm -hmm. Um, you know, it, it is pretty easy to find. And mm -hmm. keep in mind, these are some of our top customers, right. so our yeah. account leads tend to know a thing or two about them too, so yeah. Yeah, so there's a surprise element in that too. Did you tell mm -hmm. people about this beforehand or did you wait till they got on site and, and started feeling Complete it? Complete surprise when they got on site. And what, what was the yeah. reaction? Did you, did you see people jumping up and down and going, oh my gosh, that was cool. <laughs> I mean, maybe not that, but pretty probably close. close, pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think people were really, really surprised and um, 
we were a little worried at first. Yeah. Are people going to think this is strange that we we know these interests about them? But people loved it, and yeah. it really it really speaks to like how much people want to make a personal connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's also this element you you talked in your session about um, designing features and and doing things that are more basic, like providing power, yeah. uh, seating, you know, comfortable seating, good food. Right? Yeah. Talk about that. How's, how does the experience become an element of what you do at Google? You know, one thing that I always keep top of mind when I'm planning events is we've got all this great content mm -hmm. that we want to deliver and so much that we want to do at this event, but if attendees aren't comfortable, if they're looking for a charger mm -hmm. or you know they're not able to focus because they're not comfortable, they're hungry, they're cold, whatever it is, like they're not gonna be engaged. And that's all of this effort that we've put into making this experience good for them, just you know, down the drain mm -hmm. for something as basic as power or yeah. food. Yeah. And so I always kind of start with the base foundation and think like, how am I gonna get these people in their optimal mindset so that all they need to do is just engage? Mm -hmm. And then we build on that. And then we add the surprise and delight on top of that. Mm -hmm. I can hear the people, our event planners out in the audience that have had this, amazing event going on and all they heard about was well the coffee was cold oh, or the worst. I couldn't find something some place to plug in my my yeah. laptop it's crushing it's crushing it's yeah. hard and we take critic criticism is hard when you're an event planner yeah. um, you mentioned in your session too that you gave tablets to people and mm -hmm. you wanted them to be part of the experience can you tell us a little bit about that about how you personalized that content and, and then kept them charged through the through the event yeah mm -hmm. yeah um, I think the tablets really were just a way to facilitate this goal that we have of keeping conversation going, you know, before the event, during the event, and after the event. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, before the event, for example, we built our content around attendees. We actually, in our registration process, asked them questions and asked them what they wanted to hear about. And we then decided whether to have breakouts or not. We decided whether to have PM hosted lunch tables or not. Mm -hmm. And those topics were based on direct feedback that we got before that event. So then at the event, we wanted things, it, you know, we wanted things to stay live. We wanted to continue to like know what was going on with attendees. What are they feeling? What do they want more of? What do they want less of? And so we were using those attendees to do things like live polls so we could see what are people engaging with? What are they reacting to? And um, you know, we could have people posting to the second screen. So in one instance, this is such a silly example, but kind of funny. You know, someone posted, I could really go for a cold Diet Coke right now. And we saw that on the second screen and actually brought and that person Diet Coke. Diet Coke. And that's just, again, another really basic way <laughs> that really, you, you're- It's a good example. <laughs> yeah, you're expressing yourself as the brand. We uh -huh. care about every uh -huh. little creature comfort. Yeah. We're listening. Cool. So what will you do to keep evolving the experience? How do, you, how do you start that on the next event? You've done these things. Where are you going to start when and look at your process next? That's a good question. I mean, I think there's always, um, there's always room to continue to build. And I think one of the big things we're finding is uh, how do we take this really intimate experience for this top 150 customers and really like democratize it? How do we scale this? I think that's really like the next step. Is, um, is, is maybe building um, an online event experience in conjunction with the live experience and somehow marrying the two. Yeah. We've started doing that kind of thing uh, for other events aside from APF and the response has been just unbelievable. That's great. Yeah. Wow. Well, you're doing some really exciting things. You've got a great program and we really thank you for coming by and talking with us today. So enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks Joe. And to you, we'll have another episode of EM All Access uh, coming out soon, so please come back and join us again. Thanks so much.